Hey guys, it's Connor, back with part two of our Rubik's Cube song. If you watched part one, if you didn't, just pause this and go watch it, and then come back. So, if you did watch part one, if you didn't, then go right now in the next three seconds. One, two, three. Okay, now we're starting. If you didn't, if you watched part one, you should have the white side complete with orange and green and red and blue and orange and green and red and blue and you get the point and you should have this uh... layer here and this one on every side and then you're looking for one of two things you want either this arrow like this ignore these two you want that on your yellow or just a straight line across yellow, not this or this. You want yellow, yellow, yellow. So if you have a cross, I mean arrow, you want it always pointing this way. Pointing at, sorry, this. Pointing at this. Always like this. Sorry. And if you don't have either of those, then find a yellow, just push it, any yellow, push it out of the way, bring it up, push it back, bring it down, and then fix your whites, and then it should pop right out, and then just fix your other one the right way. See, look, I don't have any now. But now, so you just bring it there, push it up, push it back, down, and then fix your white. So, now I still don't have anything, so just, you gotta, just do it again, until you get this. So then, you want this facing you, I'm gonna do this the easier way for you. Get these first two layers, both layers, bring them down, and then, wait, no, that isn't the easier way. So, these two layers, bring them down, bring this side up, push it back, bring it down, push it back, then, bring it. If that was confusing, then, I don't know really, but, here, let me get a straight line, then just do it with this front layer. And if you didn't see the, um, if you didn't really see the first two layers, you just do the same thing with the first one. So bring this out of the way, bring this up, push it back, bring it down, push it there, bring it down. Then you should have a cross. Don't matter about this extra one right here. And you should have still have all these that you did. So, I have a fish, which is actually really helpful, but it doesn't really matter. So, no matter what you have, unless it's a fish, unless it's a fish, keep it. But if you don't have a fish, then do this next one. If you do have a fish, ignore this part. So go up, boom, down, boom, up, boom. Boom, down. Keep doing that until you get a fish. Fishy. Then do that same thing. Except, look, this fishy doesn't have a white. Uh oh. He doesn't have a yellow. I mean, you want a fishy facing the bottom corners. This or this. This or this. This or this. Or this or this. Okay, and whichever one you have that has yellow dot. Show us your yellow dot. While the fish is facing the bottom corner, do that same move. Boom, boom, down, boom, up, boom, boom, down. <gasps> and your yellow soft. Bibbidi bobbidi boo ya. Okay. And then you want to find, 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 find. If you don't have one, it's okay. Just pick your favorite color and do this on that one. But if you do have two of these, it doesn't matter that it's on green, these two, 
corners. They can be on green, orange, blue, red. But mine were on red, so I'm just keeping them on red. What's opposite of red? Orange. What's opposite of blue? Green. Sorry, I did that opposite. I'm facing the opposite way. Duh. Okay, so then red is opposite of orange, so I'm going to do it on orange side. It's red to you, but it's orange to me. So then go bring it down, push it over, bring it down, make this bottom layer move one, two times, bring it up, push it this way, bring it down, bottom layer two times, push it up two times. And then, and then if you didn't have it before, just do the same, just rewind it and do the same thing I just did on the opposite color still. But if you did have it, you should have one, three, I mean three solid layers. Yellow and white you always have, but blue is mine. Yours could be orange, green, or red, but mine's just blue. So what's opposite of blue? Green. So green is facing me like this. And then I do the same exact thing, kind of. No! Not even close. What am I saying? I don't know. Well, green has red. Red has to go here. So we're going to push it this way. You might have to push it this way, but that's fine. I have to push it this way, so I'm going to do it that way. Flip it white up to here. Push it whichever way you have it. Bring these sides down. Flip them over. Put them back on top. Push it over. And then fix it. And that's all, baby. I don't know why I just said baby. But it's solved. And yeah, so I'm gonna just keep watching part one and part two until you got it. And now, since you guys finished, well, if you don't finish, then just rewind it to part one or part two and try it again. It's fixed up. Oh no. Um, so just gonna solve mine real quick. You get to watch me solve it again. Uh, so, just real quick, I'm solving it. Won't take that long. I'm good. Sorry, guys. I'm so slow. I'm like a grandma. Really annoying to hear the sound. Okay, I'm on the yellow part. Ooh, yeah. We're almost done. I know, it's been like forever. It's done. And I'm just gonna put it on my stand. And since you guys finished early, you guys get to watch me rage and be really bad at this perplexus. Yay. Okay. Yeah, let's start on the first one. This is more like of a reaction, not a tutorial, because there's no tutorial that even works, because I'm terrible at this. I can make it to the second checkpoint. To checkpoint two. Sometimes. Yeah. And the third one, I can't even, like, make it past this stupid part. This part's hard. You know that, like, purple circle where you have to wrap it around? It's step 14, if you have one. Yes. Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah. I don't even know where this ball is going. But I hope it's awesome. Yes. Yes, checkpoint two. Yeah. And yes, I did just make it checkpoint two. I wasn't cheating. So if I go to checkpoint two, I didn't cheat. I actually made it. What the heck? 
We're stuck. Oh, what? It's down there. Drop! Ah. Yes! Stupid ball! I'm gonna crush this ball. I can't even get it to the start area. Wow. Checkpoint two. I'm so focused. <laughs> Good at this. Okay, now I already raged at the perplexus. I just checked it. So, okay, well, now you guys get to see once you've solved your Rubik's Cube, you get to see me chuck it really high. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna show you how to do patterns. Yay. Everybody likes patterns, so go move one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, then, uh, one, two, one, two, and it's checkers on every single side, and then, to solve it, just go one, two, one, two, two, and, to do the Cyclops, I'm pretty sure it's called the Cyclops, right, most people, just do this, down, side, down, side, down, Side, down, side, and then every side has a circle with an eye. And to fix it, you push one side up, and then other side that way, and then push one side down, and then boom, boom, and then boom, I think, no, that boom, and then boom, boom, yay! That's an awkward face. Well, this has been part two of solving the roof cube and failing at the perplexus. And so now I'm gonna see how I can chuck this. That failed. I was looking at the screen. At the camera. I was looking at the camera, not the cube. That's how lizards that's how lizards do. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Oh, well, let's chuck it more. Ow. A corner landed on my hand. Okay. Okay, don't try this if your Rubik's Cube is all heavy, but mine's all loose, so, like... There's these people who juggle Rubik's Cubes and solve them. All of them. I'm good at juggling. I should juggle Rubik's Cubes. Well, it's only one Rubik's Cube. I bet I can juggle like 40 billion. Like, you have to chuck them so high. Whoa. Almost landed on my iPad. My iPad's already cracked enough. Oh, if you guys want to see a severe iPad crack, my iPad. Too bad there's no like iPad hospital that it can solve cracks. Well, this is the end of part two. I'll see you later. I disappeared. You can still see my back. Bum, bum.